got to excuse me. I'm hot. I don't know if I'm having a flash or Hello, my chat partners. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Dion. Please subscribe to my channel and to my returning chat partners. I really appreciate your guys' support. So guys, today's video is going to be a DIY video. And what I'm going to do... Today's video is going to be a DIY video. And what I'm going to do is do something like a DIY bullet journal planner so let me see how i'm gonna say it what it's going to be is going to be a diy bullet journal for my exercise routines and so yeah i'm gonna just wing it guys and just write some things down and just yeah just bring you guys along all right i hope that's right i hope it ain't cricket if it is i'm sorry guys <laughs> i'm trying to get it together but yeah, like I said, um, I have a lot of planner stuff, like notebooks and stuff, just laying around the house. And I was like, let me just put some use to them. And let me see if I got some more stuff in my little planner bag. And guys, this is actually a makeup bag. You know, makeup cases when you want to go out of town. But I thought it was cute. I was like, I'm going to use this with my little planner stuff. You could just make up stuff as you go, guys. Seriously. And that's what I did with this. So, also got some little inserts here. But I really don't see anything I can use from out of other items that I'm going to use. And this is some forms. Well, this is some sheets that I printed off. It's like challenges and um, like a, a, a squat challenge and a jump rope challenge and, you know, just stuff like that. It has like a shopping list for like Mediterranean diets, which is something I'm supposed to be on, but I haven't been doing it like I should. I got me some glue, guys, and I'm gonna see if I can find me some scissors and get this thing rolling. All right, guys, let's get to it. Okay, guys, I'm back. So let me just go over the items real quick of what I'm gonna use for this DIY. I know y'all probably like, she is so unorganized. How's she gonna do a DIY when she ain't even got everything she need, need and got stuff in place? But hey. <laughs> This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I was like, let me go on and do it. I just, y'all, I'm tired. I'm sweating. Because for real, y'all, I just got through washing the car and I'm tired. Sweating and everything. But, and I had like, <laughs> I put some twists in my hair while I was out there because I had ran, went out early and ran some errands. And when I came back home, my hair was like this. I was like, I know I want to record this video today. And since I got on a decent shirt, cause ain't no telling what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I might lay around all day tomorrow. But when we went outside to wash the car, I was like, let me just throw a couple of twists in my hair. And I just threw a couple of twists in my hair. So I was like, at least it can lay down a little bit. But anywho, these are the items that I'm going to use for this DIY. I have my Create 365 sticker book. Also, I have the Happy Memory Keeping sticker book. So I'm hoping I can find some little things to just decorate and make it look cute. I have this Traveler's Notebook set. Why I gotta keep looking at it when I, it's like a Traveler's Notebook, that's it. And I've had this for a while, so yeah. I had started decorating it, but I'ma just go on to another section and decorate it, it's fine. I have some labels, which I don't know if I'm gonna need them or not, but I'm, I just bought them along because they was in my drawer. I have some tape because I don't have no glue. <laughs> so I'm gonna use what I got, okay. And then, like I said, I have these little printouts that I could follow. But yeah, I'm gonna do it for the month of July. And also what I'm gonna do is my YouTube planner notebook. The only reason why I'm gonna use that is because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the dates up here for wednesday and thursday i know what day of the week it is so when i write in the book i know what what the dates is for those certain days or whatever this little book right here has like uh it's already it's already like got week of and i just put the date and it's like monday tuesday and i know what days to write down from this book on here and then I could just go from there. Princess, you're going to have to go in the other room doing all the tap dancing. I'm trying to record with something that it can pick up. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do July, guys. So, let's get started. Y'all got to, y'all got to, excuse me, I'm hot. I don't know if I'm having a flash or what. I don't think I'm having a flash. I think it's just, I was outside cleaning the car. 
and came up in here and I'm high and I don't have my AC on down here. I think that's what it is. And now when I looked at the AC unit, it was like 78. So I think that's what it is. Let me just cool myself off before I get started with this video. Whoo child. Alright, let's get started, guys. The week starts on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what I want to do since this starts on a Monday. I'm going to start it off for the week of the 6th. why I'm going to do the jump rope three times. Well, not the jump rope, I'm sorry. The reason why I'm going to do the jumping jacks three times because that'll be like 150 jumping jacks. And since I have 50 squats, I'm not going to do the 50 squats all at once. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split them in half and then do two sets which means I'm going to do 25, then 25. So that's what that means. Twenty-five per set. Okay? So that's what that means. Twenty-five per set. So, so this is what it's looking like so far. Like I said, guys, just bear with me because 
I my setup isn't correct and I know that and I'm just trying to you know better myself with this recording and everything with my setup and just using the items that I have to record my YouTube videos I appreciate you guys bearing with me through this so yeah this is what it's looking like now so as you can see I have the 30 day squat challenge here and then I have Monday set out for what I'm going to do that Monday on July 6th. So what I have is I'm going to do 50 squats, which is what it says for day one. But what that means is I'm going to start off my exercise doing 25 squats. Then I'm going to do 50 jumping jacks. Then I have the um, 10 second planks, which means I'm going to do that three, three separate times, 30 knee kicks, jump rope for 60 seconds. And when I have it highlighted, it says three times. The items that I have highlighted, that means that I'm gonna do each of those three times. So guys, that's how that workout is going to go for that Monday. It may not seem like it's a lot, but it's a lot, guys. Um, and then that workout might last me 10 or 15 minutes. It just depends on how long it takes me to do it. It's hard doing 50 jumping jacks. <laughs> and those knee kicks are, it's, it's, it's hard doing knee kicks as well. And it's hard jumping rope for 60 seconds because you be messing up and starting over, messing up and starting over. But the thing about it is I'm gonna do it three different times. So that's a workout. That's a workout. And I feel like at the end of the day, I'm not a person who, I don't like to exercise at all. But at the end of the day, I know that I have to exercise so I can get in better shape and you know lose some weight and it'll help with my blood pressure issues. I also know too that I have to pace myself. So you gotta start from somewhere. Let me go ahead and do Tuesday. Tuesday is gonna to be totally different. Okay guys, for July 7th, what I'm gonna do is walk five rounds. And when I say five rounds, that means five rounds around the cul-de-sac where I live. I'm gonna do 60 curb steps times four. And what that means is, you know how you step up on the curb and step down, step up on the curb, step down. I'm gonna do that times four. I'm gonna jump rope for 60 seconds, do 55 squats, two sets. And the items that I have highlighted in blue, I'm gonna do those things two times.
Okay guys, so here's the finished product. So yeah, so let me go over what I just did. And guys, my handwriting is not the greatest. And I didn't have a ruler, but I made it work, okay? <laughs> okay, so first things first, I have up here, water is a must. And I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I have the circles. I have 10 circles for each day of the week. What I'm gonna do is each time I drink some water, I'm gonna just color in that circle for that particular day. And the reason why I made 10 is because they say that you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water, but I'm just gonna put 10 because you just never know like the measurements of each cup of water that you drink. If you don't have a cup that's like maybe eight ounces, you can drink a cup of water that's maybe five ounces, or you may not have, um, you may not fill your cup up with water, whatever the case may be. So I have on here smoothies. So and I have each day of the week, like before Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I have B for breakfast, L for lunch, D for dinner, and S is for snack. So in case if I do make a smoothie that particular day, I'll just cross out if I had that smoothie for my breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack. Then here, I have no foods for one week, which is, and I have four weeks, since it's four weeks in a month. So for week one, it'll be no red meat. And you can change it, you can put, if you, if you already don't eat red meat, you can put no chicken or no poultry or no seafood for that week, however you wanna do it. Week two, I have no sweets. Week three is no carbs. And week four is no processed foods. So that means nothing in a box, nothing in a can. Is canned food a processed food? Wait a minute, hold on. Canned food got, wait a minute. Is canned food a processed food? It's a food, but I don't know if it's processed. I don't know, but no processed food. So if you don't want to eat anything that's in a box or in a can, you can do that. Or if you just don't want to eat anything that's in a box, period. That is going to be hard with processed foods. I don't know if that's chips or not. I don't know, but just no processed foods. And you can just go high, go by your, your food guideline, whatever you can whatever you consider processed foods. At the month of July, and this is my calendar I made, y'all. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> This is the best I could do for what I got. Um, but yeah, and it's, it's my own special DIY, so it's fit for me, it's something I made. So yeah, so this is the month of July and it starts on a Wednesday. So yeah, and then here, um, I have cross out days I ate green vegetables. So what I'm gonna do is the reason why I have the calendar, so each day that I ate a green vegetable, I'm just gonna mark it out, out I'm just gonna mark it off my calendar. And then I just added some little stickers to it. So yeah, guys, this is what this looks like. My little DIY food journal. You could just add different stuff to other pages, however you want to do it. It's whatever you want to do. But this is just something that I did just to show you guys how I'm starting it off. I'm going to add some more pages and some more stuff to it. But this is what I have so far. So let me show you both of the little bullet DIYs I did today. Okay guys, so here's the workout little DIY I did for my workout planner, AKA bullet journal, AKA just something I came up with in my head. But here's this for the workout portion. And then this is for the meal portion. Okay guys, there you have it. That's my little DIY for my little workout journal and my little meal planner journal. <laughs> this is just something I thought about doing. It just, it just came up in my head and I just decided to do it. Guys, again, I wanna to apologize to y'all as far as the setup, how everything looks. But um, Well, I did the best that I could with what I had. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for rocking with me. And thank you guys for bearing with me and just being there for me. And I really appreciate all my subscribers. I really appreciate everyone that watches my videos. I appreciate everyone for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And you all positive vibes out there, well wishes. As always, remember you guys are great. And as always, take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye, guys. Bye. Ooh, look at this hair. It just ain't right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>